It's been eight years since the Dozier School for Boys in Mariana permanently closed its doors. Dr. Erin Kimberly and her forensics team returned to the school grounds this week to research new anomalies. News 13's Faith Graham reports tonight on what is involved in that lengthy process. Kimberly's team returned to Mariana after a contractor discovered 27 new anomalies. She says they will carefully analyze the site to confirm whether the anomalies are human remains or not. We use mechanical equipment, um, heavy equipment, to remove the top layer of the soil and look at the soil underneath to determine if there's something buried there and what that is. The Florida Department of State entered into a land use agreement with Jackson County, allowing USF researchers to excavate the land. The researchers will also determine if other areas of the grounds should be investigated. You can really use probability theory to say how likely is it someone was ever buried here because if there used to be a structure there, they're most likely not buried underneath that structure. If human remains are found, law enforcement will immediately step in along with the medical examiner. If something turns out to be a human burial, then obviously that stops and, and the process becomes very slow. If it's not a human burial, if it's something like tree roots um, or buried trash or other things, the process can go a little bit quicker. The investigation could last from six months to one year. For News 13, Faith Graham, Panhandle Strong.